Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for 10 years now and today I'd like to share Psalm 31 verses 11 to 17. Here's God's word. Because of all my adversaries I have become a reproach, especially to my neighbors and an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have been forgotten like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side, as they skim together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands, rescue me from the hand of the enemies and from my persecutors. Make your face shine on your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I call upon you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go silently in Sheol. Psalm 31, 11 to 17. Here's my blog. As the enemy schemes against me, Lord, come to my rescue as the enemy schemes against me. I have become a laughing stock and disgrace to my neighbor. Many have minimized me and treated me like dead. I hear them whisper all kinds of gossips and judgment as they scheme against me and mock me incessantly. I ask you, Lord, to deliver me from all the attacks of the enemy. O Lord, I call upon you, have mercy on your faithful servant. Let the wicked be put to shame and silenced and stopped. Make your face shine on your beloved servant. Make haste to save me. As the enemy schemes against me, I slowly become discouraged. Strengthen me to exercise the authority you gave me to trample on them. O oh my God, I trust that you will fulfill your promise of deliverance. Reflection. How can you identify with David in this psalm as his enemy schemes against him? And what did David do when he felt so discriminated and mocked by those people who seem to have honored him before and currently mock him now? What David went through is actually a very, very similar thing that happened to Jesus when uh, the Pharisees were mocking him. And um, the entrance to Jerusalem, everybody were bowing down to him and hailing him as king. And then suddenly, a few days later, they want to crucify him. I can identify with David in this psalm because I have been uh, attacked by the enemy a lot of times. Um, I didn't grow up in a Christian uh, environment and um, I did in a religion, religious environment but not a Christian one. So um, there were so many open doors for the enemy to use against me. So uh, he could use all these people who love me to be the ones who will actually destroy me. I can identify with David because I think in this, in this psalm he was being chased by King Saul, who was very jealous of him because he had more... Um, skills as uh, as uh, somebody who were able to defeat so many enemies, killed so many of them, and uh, he was being David was being proclaimed by the people as their hero because he had killed ten thousands. But uh, when they compare him to Saul, Saul killed only a few. So now it has sparked some jealousy in Saul and he plotted to kill David. Now, 
it is so inter it, it is easier to accept if your um, enemy is someone you're you weren't friends before or you weren't close before and David served uh, King Saul for for so long and he had been very faithful to him and he honored King Saul because King Saul was anointed by God so um, it is probably much much more painful because I have experienced that many times um, a lot of my friends who seemed to be friends were really enemies and um, when David because <clears throat> you can hear in this part of his psalm that he's getting so down and depressed because of all the <clears throat> things that are happening around him it, he cannot not be because he's human so it's only uh, it's it's only natural for him to uh, feel depressed after seeing all these people who used to honor him are now gossiping about him mocking him and you know ignoring him um, what did he do he instead of being uh, totally discouraged what he did was to run to the throne of God and again ask the Lord to fulfill his promise to deliver him uh, because he's so broken he he has this honest openness to the Lord because he knows that the Lord loves him and the Lord will deliver him so whenever you feel mocked schemed at um, whenever you feel like you're being manipulated or attacked run to the throne because he is your vindicator he is your deliverer he is your savior thanks for watching i hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs and a copy of this blog and i hope you subscribe to my channel on youtube so i could make more videos for the lord thanks for watching